Hello and welcome back again. Thank you to everyone who have subscribed to our channel and thank you for supporting us and if you've not done so, please subscribe and that will be a big help to support us. So now in this video, we're going to look at one of the best AI applications that you can use to remove vocals, separate the instruments and many other things that you can do and it's totally free, 100% free. All you have to do if you want to, you can do donation. And to give donation, you have to create a Patreon. Simply come to the page here and you can see it says donate. Click on this and it takes you to the Patreon. And here become a member or create on Patreon. And this is the owner of the application, Melnik Dimitri. Now let's get started on how to use it. This is the first application here where you use to remove the vocal and isolate the vocal from the music. So let's see how it works. Very simple. We just drop a file in here. Let's do that. So here once we drop the file, mp3, wave file, what it does, it's gonna spread the audio. So here the audio is the processing now. So you can see now it is done. That is the music and here's the vocal. So what you can do, if you want to, you can download from here. The format you can download in mp3 or WAV file. Once you click that, you can see the save button here. Simply click that and download the music. And also you can download the vocal. But not only that, look at this other one here, the splitter. What it does is you're going to split the music, the vocal, the bass and the drums and any other music that you have. So let's put in the same audio file again. Simply click and drop it on. And you can see the air is going to split the music the vocal and other instruments. So let's wait and see. So already here it's already splitting up the uh, audio file. You can see it's separating the music into different stem music vocals, the bass and the drums. So let's play the drum. So let's just get this one down, get this one down and listen to the drums. And let's put the drums down, let's get the bass up. And the vocal again, we have listened to that before, we can listen again. And here is the music. And when we put the bass up, let's put the volume here a little bit down. And then let's put the drum all the way up. So you can see it separate into different stem, but it's the music, vocal, bass and drum. So what you can do again from here, you can uh, download individual of this. You can bring it into any audio editor and you can start editing it to make it more quality because this is uh, generated from Suno. Let's move to the picture here. Here it gives you the pitch and the tempo of the song as you adjusting the music, the key and a bit per minute. It's have this slider, so let's check it out. Let's uh, drop in the same audio file again. And now when we move the slider up, you can listen to the beats and the pitch of the beats and the a beat per second. This is when you want to create some kind of nice audio, fun audio and things like that. You can use this. Now again, to save that, you can always come down here and save as a WAV file or MP3. Let's move to the next one. This is basically just the beat per minute, the pinder, the key, everything that you need to know about. So you can see once we drop that file in, it gives you the uh, beat per minute here, the key which start to code, uh, the major and the came load. So came load is very interesting because it is a Python library that allows you to extract uh, things from it and build on top of any other libraries and things like that. So they do have it here. But just a bit so here, it's another very interesting part of these applications and that is the kata. Uh, I like this one, so let's see how we can use that. Importing the same audio file in and here you can see you have the kata. So you can move this one up to wherever you want to trim this one up. And once you have that, you can click cut here 
and then you can see this fade in icon here you can see you can adjust the timing to fade it in and you can also do the same for this other side as well so bring it up here cut it and then you can fade out like that so you can use the timing here to fade out and once you're happy you can save that again as usual now you have the jointer here you can also try it out and you have the recorder so what the recorder does is uh, you upload a file in here and you press the button while you're singing into your microphone to record your voice so that's what it's does and then just like the karaoke as well so these are great apps applications that you can use um, again thank you again for watching and uh, see you back again